Hello. So we're going to talk about, we're going to continue on with our discussion about clauses. Um, we have, um, we have some new additions to our information about dependent clauses. So remember we said that there are two types of clause. A clause can stand on its own and be a sentence because it has a subject and a predicate, and that's called an independent clause. Or a clause cannot stand on its own because it has a weird signal word that makes it so that it's not a complete sentence anymore. Um, and there were there was a large assortment of words. Um, there was before, after, since, because, who, whose, that, which, until, after. So, um, and that made it a dependent clause because those words added to the sentence and made it so that it was, it was dependent. Okay, so we're adding to some of that information about dependent clauses. Today, we're gonna to talk about relative and interrogative pronouns. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. And so I'm gonna go ahead and write my name at the top. So remember this word, relative is like somebody that you're connected to that is a family member. If you look at relative as an adjective, a, something that is relative is something that you can compare, right? So it's comparative. If I say, hmm, going to school relative to online education, there are a lot of differences and similarities. The word interrogative means that I'm asking a question, right? At the beginning of the year, we said there are four types of sentences and one type of sentence is an interrogative sentence. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Seth just snuck in and gave me a cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to sharing Okay, and we're still recording, that's good. Okay, sorry peeps. I'm still seeing the record button, that's good. All right, so interrogative is means that a question is involved, right? That's our question word, our fancy word for questioning. Some dependent clauses begin with a relative pronoun. whom, who, whose, that, or which. These clauses act as adjectives and they answer the questions, which one and what kind about a noun or a pronoun. Interrogative pronouns, so these are relative. This is relative. So relative pronouns are going to answer the questions, which one or what kind? Interrogative pronouns introduce questions. What, who, and which are pronouns that ask questions? Okay, so a dependent, these are all dependent clauses, clauses, clauses as this, that we're talking about, but there's just two kinds of of um, dependent clauses. So there's one is relative, one's interrogative. So these ask a question, they pose a question. So for example, here's a dependent clause. California is the state that produces the most fruit crops. So this tells which state, and this is a relative pronoun. This is one that is a dependent clause that is a question, right? Who will help me pick the crops today? So again, it's forming a question. So let's look at our, our word bubbles, our thought bubbles. Which word introduces a dependent clause that tells about a noun that comes before it? Well, that would be a, that would be a relative, a relative clause, right? Who, whom, who's that, which? And which word introduces a question? That would be an interrogative 
clause, right? An interrogative dependent clause. Okay, now this is gonna be kind of tricky. So I think again, we're gonna do all of these together because they are a little bit challenging, even challenging for me. So we're gonna circle the interrogative or relative pronoun in each sentence. For sentences containing a relative pronoun, we're gonna underline the dependent clause. We're gonna write the noun this clause describes on the line at the right. Okay, so this is a lot of tasks. Are you ready? We're circling the relative pronoun. So if we see a who, whom, who's, that, which, we're going to circle that. There was a terrible drought that caused the Chavez family to lose their ranch. So I'm seeing that, right? Right here, that is number four on the list. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to underline the dependent clause. So we have caused the Chavez family to lose their ranch. Okay, so far so good. And now we're gonna ask ourselves, they want us to write on, what is it describing on the line at the right? Well, what caused the family to lose their ranch? The drought. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. They moved to California, which offered jobs for migrant farm workers, which is one of the words that's up here at the top, right up here. Booyah. And our clause is offer jobs for migrant farm workers. And we're gonna ask ourselves which, which offered jobs for migrant farm workers. They're asking kind of like which state. And so our answer is gonna be California. It's kind of tricky, huh? Okay, here we go. What are the hardest to do? What jobs are the hardest to do? Well, this one's interrogative. So all we have to do is find the, um, let's see, for sentences containing blah, 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 underline, circle the interrogative or relative pronoun. So all we have to do is circle the, the interrogative pronoun. So we're looking for, if it's interrogative, we're looking for what, who, and which. What jobs are the hardest to do? <laughs> right, that's all we have to circle because this one is interrogative, this one is relative, this one is relative, this one is probably relative because it has a line next to it for us to do. And this one doesn't have a line and it has a, ends in a question. So it's interrogative. Okay, here we go, number four. Migrant children who move often have difficulty keeping up in school. Who? And this is the only part right here because there's a comma. So it's gonna be who move often and what question or what is what are we describing there? Well, we're describing children, right? The who is describing children. All right, last one, we just have to circle. Which company opposed the strike? Oop, which, right? Which is up here, which and who and what? Okay, so this is a little bit more tricky distinction being able to see these in sentences. So we know what a dependent clause is and an independent clause is and, and so there are two, now they're breaking it down and telling you there are two kinds of dependent clauses, interrogative and relative. And pretty much you just have to look for the, the key words, the key words that they gave to us on the list. Who, whom, who's, that, which, which one, which and who, and what, right? All of those are kind of question words. Who, what, where, when, why, how. They're in the question word family. All right, so 
that's one that's looking for the question word is one way for you to find the dependent clause. All right. Thanks very much for joining me. Talk to you later.